What happens when you start working on a project that you end up hating? Killebrew here is going to tell you about that in a second. All right, so I'm here with Killebrew, Micah Killebrew, Micah Killebrew, and uh, we were just having a conversation where I said, "Stop!" Instead of us having this conversation in private, why not we share it with the rest of the world? So, Micah, you were telling me uh, you have been prototyping this thing. What is this thing? Uh, we were going to call it the Frisbee Fling. And the idea is you take an ultimate frisbee and since it kind of gives you a longer arm in a sense, you can throw it that much further. Okay. So um, you started off, well, first of all, do you like ultimate frisbee? Yeah. So he started off with a passion of his. Great. He prototyped it, right? How did you prototype it? Tell everybody. Um, with like a AutoCAD, I think it was, in the Innovate, or in the engineering room. Right, so he prototyped something, uh, had a good start on it, and then today you come up and tell me what? Uh, Don't I be shy. It, yeah, I think it kind of sucks. Okay, so uh, he after, after prototyping this and working with it, he's like, this isn't working out as I had hoped, and he kind of gave me this nervous look, and I said, yeah, great, quit. Why would I tell you to do that? I found this little company called Zipchip, Yes. And I've been playing with their toy for a while now. And I wanted to kind of find find out what drives them, I guess, and contact them and see if I could help them in any way. Okay, so here's the thing I like about what he said. Number one, I give him kudos for like having a problem, going out and prototyping it, starting to work on it, and then him coming up to me like, I hope you're not mad, but I'm not I'm not not mad. I'm actually excited that he tried it and then he realized this isn't working out. Now there are some times where I said, you know, work around it, but he thinks fundamentally he's just not that interested and he realized that he's up against a lot of different odds and a lot of different things that are out of his control. So what was the solution? Work with a company that is already making something and you said like, I want to see if I can help them in the process or if I can, you know, this is the very brief conversation we had earlier. Like I, I want to see what they're doing, how they're doing it and see if I can provide value. I love that. If you're a teacher, you've probably heard this a lot or maybe if you're a parent, maybe this is counterproductive. Maybe you're like, I'm telling a student to quit. Now this is not to say I don't like grit and resilience and all that good stuff, but Micah had basically told me something at a fundamental level. He saw that it wasn't going to work out. And instead of him possibly taking another two or three weeks, he said, I've got a solution and I know what I'm going to work on instead. And I think that that's valuable. I don't know, they, they're a small company, so help them grow it. Okay, so you're gonna email them, tell them, and then what are you gonna tell them? I'm a, I love your product, like I've been killing like hours on it with my friend. Okay, so I like your product, I'd like to see it grow, I'd like to see if I can provide Oh uh, yeah, I think it'd be cool if they had like a glow in dark, glow in the dark option because it's hard to play anything past six. There you go. All right, so prototyping something, giving it a try, but if something's not working out, stop. This is the fail early, fail often mantra that I like. I'm glad he went through it. Actually, there was already three students today that have told me. I'm looking at you, Mitch, that have already told me. Yeah, now that I'm into this, I don't like it. They could hide from me and lie to me and tell me how hard they're working on it, or they can be honest and say, here's my roadblocks. I had no idea how expensive this would be, or I had no idea how many regulations there were. I need to stop now. Awesome, let's stop now. For Mike Killebrew, and Mitch Tebby over there nodding his head yes, I'm Don Wetrick reminding you that opportunities are everywhere. See ya!